All right, guys, this is Chad the Dude right here. Um, I am working on my custom 10XL garden tractor that uh, my grandpa, um, my grandpa Moore, has given to me uh, sh shortly before he passed away. And I've got a uh, ignition problem. I believe it stemmed from this this right here. I, I fixed. I kind of fixed it, but I got a. This is too thick here. But long story short, this wire here goes to your. Um, this here is like it goes from this. <clears throat> I guess this stator here has got this one coil that energizes your ignition on this engine. This is a Tecumseh 10 horsepower. I think it's commonly known as like an HH10 or an HH100. Um, so long story short, I checked the resistance. I think the resistance to um, this wire here to uh, to a good ground on this stator should be something like 0.455 ohms or something like that. I'll try to leave some links to some references to this because uh, I've got a lot of advice on how to repair this in different videos. Now this is just something I chose to do. You don't have to. But um, this basically this coil here has one wire that goes to turn off uh, to turn it off and one wire here goes to your solid state ignition system. Now I chose to uh, put a diode in here because I have read where what can happen sometimes is there's, there's this, old, this old school uh, 12 volt system meaning that 12 volts runs to this ignition system and starts it up is it can sometimes send that 12 volt center there and fry both this uh, stator and your ignition coil, which is I have it removed currently, and um, and this was this this was cut through. What happens is right here. I don't know if you can see that or not very good, but this right here, this wire gets cut on on the back side of this and the front side of that. I'll cut it right and we'll start cutting into it. Okay. Now I made this too thick and I've bolted it together. You can see a shiny spot here. That wasn't there before. I actually just did that not that long ago. But I was trying to troubleshoot this thing and make it work. They basically I made the repair and it wouldn't start back up. So that means that my solid state ignition is bad. There's about four different choices from that point where to go. I'll uh, bring it back over here to where I've got my... I've got like a million projects going on. And I'm kind of ashamed that I've got so many going on that I'm this far behind. But... I've got this. Uh, I got this PDF from a tractor group, and um, I printed it off. And I had to write his name down. His name is um, Mikey McClossy, and I chatted with him through the Sears uh, Facebook um, Garden Tractor Backyard Tractor Club. I'm sorry, the Sears Suburban Backyard Tractor Club. That's how I found him through Facebook, and I found a couple different different ideas to fix this so this is one of them. I want to try to figure a way to get this PDF onto the computer but basically what this guy has suggested to do here repairing it to come to a solid state ignition module and what, what he has done and I think his father too is they have taken this solid state ignition module oops, they put it into some oil some cooking oil to heat this uh, epoxy up, I guess this epoxy is is designed to to come. Uh, it's like heat sensitive, and you get it warm, it, it sort of comes loose. So heat up, and he, they've got they used a frying pan or a uh, skillet, and I guess what you're supposed to do is heat it, heat this up. Then you're supposed to desolder this chipboard, and this chipboard. I guess the thing that commonly fills is this round thing here. I'll try to skim through this there. This is the important stuff. But the SC, SCR is calling it. I think it stands for... I figured it out once it was like a silicone something or other anyways. But there's different part numbers here associated with it. And uh, I guess what, that ha what happens is that ground wire might short out and cause a problem. And so what I did is I bought a, a cheap fryer, deep fryer through Facebook. I'm going to put some oil in here and try to get it the, the, 
one other thing that's very important is that you've got to keep the level below this sensor here. This is your pickup, your pickup uh, coil, and the chip board is supposed to be right below where my finger is kind of waving around. It's supposed to be right below there. Now this has got a couple cracks that developed in it over time. It looks like some, my grandpa possibly maybe even tried to repair it. So I'm not sure 100%. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to heat this up, get this off there, and see if we can repair it. Because, like I said, there's, there's a, I'll try to rattle them off real quick. There's about four options you can do. You can try this, which is, is, is a lot more time consuming, but also very cheaper. You can replace this whole, whole uh, ignition coil, which is like $200 used. And, and somebody um, has actually made one called Overnight Solutions. Um, they actually made a, re a replacement one of, of these. They basically took one of these and they, they, they basically made it all exposed. And But basically what's inside of here is like a, there's a pickup coil, I guess right here's the pickup coil. There's obviously a regular coil, a chipboard with some diodes, resistors, and things like that in there. And I think According to what I, I've seen in some of the pictures, there might possibly be some sort of a capacitor in there. So, well, I'm going to get this thing going and see what happens. Shall they do right out? Oh, wait, here's the, uh, the Craftsman uh, the cover here. On top of that... There is a uh, flywheel here, and this has got like an aluminum type of uh, casing or with magnets in it here. Now, I don't know if that's a 10 amp or a 20 amp. It's a sta uh, I guess it's like a stator or something, but I've heard that it could be either one. So if anybody knows by looking if that's a 10 or 20 amp, I'd appreciate. It. I really don't know just by looking. And here's your here's your two pickups. There's whenever I bolted it down where it actually was rubbing. So, with that said, shall we do right out?